Well, it's a, yeah, I mean, it's uh, low powered, it's mm -hmm. small. Mm -hmm. Well, that was another big selling factor is that mm -hmm. the most schoolers uh, in the IT mm -hmm. industries, they notice that a lot of kids that are coming up, they don't have the programming and hacking skills what makes that the, uh, those of us that grew up in the 80s you know, had. And now, you know, it it's, it's hard for them to get no, that because the, the most, a lot of families have like the one family computer. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you can't it. blow it up yeah. and fix it and blow it up and fix it because you're cheating out the rest of the whole family. So they wanted a low-cost solution. And, and this worked out great for that. Because it'll hook up to just about any TV, you know, any current TV, and you know, just a, a mouse and a keyboard and a, a $40 board. And kids could learn how to program. I have even like times when uh, even here, people here in the U.S., for example, in certain other states, um, who are sort of um, uh, friends of family and whatnot, you know, in a little generation ahead of me, uh, when they needed some help, so usually you know, I uh, installed say like Team Viewer, for example, and then and then I would just jump on the PC to see what the issue is because it is so hard to explain over the phone. It's like, you know, okay. click on this, click on this, and, and it just takes a while. So <clears throat> a lot of time when these kind of needs come, you know, I have the same thing that uh, people sitting, say, in Pakistan, for example, and a whole bunch of them that are basically on the same frequency. And I, you know, I was trying to teach them like a Linux class, for example. And the issue was, well, how do you actually get the Linux installed? to then go and log in and do many things. So I think simple stuff that uh, groups like this or even new technologies basically just jumps beyond it. Because sometimes you, know, you, you really don't need to go through that much hack. You just need to sort of like, there's a little network. I'm trying to uh, more focus on the concept of networking rather than bringing three different laptops, configuring, and which is a lot of work. And you want to buy that. So that's one of the the, the, You're not having any luck here, Tony. I'm not. Let me throw it in mine to see. Maybe it doesn't work on the Raspberry Pi 2. Everything I've heard is it should work fine. Do you guys ever post your like hacks or stuff that you're working on on Reddit, by the way? Mm -hmm. so they were probably... Um, so, you know, I, I just found out about Reddit like a week ago when I found out that the, the lab that I run at Ford has it running there. And we have is our own copy Reddit? of Reddit. And I didn't know that. You know, subreddit, so. isn't that what it's called when you run your own? It's called a subreddit? Yeah. But yeah, there's like I, a lot of DIY like subreddits. And like, I, I, I mean, that's where I go and like see a lot of cool projects. But I think they're totally No, I haven't. It haven't must be the raspberry. So here's here's an idea. You know, yeah. get get involved and tell us how this stuff works okay. and what it looks like. And yeah, I'd love to hear a presentation on social but media stuff like that. And I'm very, I just got involved in using social media. So, right so you're like way ahead of me. But I do use Reddit a lot, yeah. mostly to waste time, but also occasionally to learn new things. Okay, so well, sign up for a like workshop. this thing because I mean I come across Reddit as well. Like and uh, these are like when you go on, for example, these websites, there's so many uh, different icons and whatnot, right? Instagram and there's yeah. lots of things okay. thrown. And it's not necessarily that I really do. Sometimes I don't know or I can't find. It's just that you know what is the best use of it. And you really don't have that much time to just go poke around, find out, and like ah well this is not for me. Yeah, so I think if somebody I who's use, done it. I mainly use Reddit. like Reddit. Yeah. And you want to try a different one? Yeah, like Reddit is great. Uh, you want to put this. a different one on? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the extra, the, all the other stuff I like fail at using. So you I have them, them, but like when I'm really bored or I'm like waiting on the subway train or something, time. I like look at them. But usually it's mostly Reddit. Uh, news, sharing which is. Well, that's what the club's all about. I mean, there's a lot of people who haven't spoken. I mean, I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to mention whatever it is that you've been thinking of for a while. Is there anybody else who hasn't talked who wants to just ask a question? Or? I had a thing that I wanted to build, and you guys are probably going in the direction. Okay. It's, I mean, I, I know there's already technology that exists because I've researched it, but I'd rather build it on my own. But basically, I wanted to build something to track the movement of my cat in my apartment. Uh, it's been done. I it's, it's definitely been I mean, there's also software I could just buy, but, but I, so this, I'd rather not. Yep. But um, yeah, I just wanted to find like the best way to attach something to his collar to detect if he like, goes outside of a perimeter. I, like, I, have, very seen, low -powered I have seen a video, probably on YouTube, that describes that, that project. Uh, basically, the idea is you get a cellular you know, phone kind of uh, 
thing that's real small. That, mm -hmm. And there's companies that sell the prepackaged thing, like right? Like an NFC tag? <coughs> um, and then I could set something up near the door to detect Well, no. So inside. this would be an actual cellular phone type oh, of thing, literally. right? Okay. So you're basically attaching a cell phone to your, to your pet, right? In a collar kind of thing. Um, and then it, you, it connects up to a back-end database, you know, that type of thing. Um, it'd be real cool to build one of those. And uh, if you want the club to help, you know, figure that out or, and stuff, I think that'd be a fun thing. To do. I could even have my mom, you know, get involved because she likes cats, you know. It's the only thing that she might be interested in, you know, tracking her cat. No, it's yeah. like a, I mean, that's one thing. And the other thing is I wanted something like the, figuring out the best way to track your pet if they run away when you're outside. Okay, yep, so there's things like that. And there's like a that. lot of technology for that, but none of it's really good. Right, so some of it is like if you, uh, you want to track uh, uh, something that's expensive, like a car, right? Yeah. So you, you've had, you know, uh, purchased proprietary solutions for doing that for a while. So again, you get a cellular phone, right? You hide it somewhere in your car, right? And then it calls back and gives you the GPS location every once in a while, right? So you could do basically that with an animal, but the problem, of course, is the size of the device and things like that. Right now, you're going to have a fairly good you know, big device. I mean, what I've found is that there's like, um, there's really, really tiny, like, um, I guess, chips that set up, send out radio frequency signals, but it's very low, like, lo very small distance, and you pretty much have to be, like, within 500 feet with your, like, phone app. Yep. But, like, what happens if they run Right, so low power um, Bluetooth. Yeah. Rift chips. Yeah, RFID. Although those are even shorter distances. No, yeah, so that's RFID. not going to work because he has an RFID chip, but you pretty much have to like be scanning yeah, right on top, like right. one centimeter. So the low power um, you know, Bluetooth is 50 feet or something like that. I don't know if you get direct. Is there something like that point. has a distance of about a mile, but is it under like so, one fourth of a pound? So the problem with that is the FCC rules on okay. the frequencies that you can use. So yes, the answer is yes, but then the frequency is, is yeah. sold to you know a big company that is not going to want you to use it. And then there's GPS, of course, but then there's like ginormous battery packs, and like it's just not right. going to work for a cat. Like there's unless you get the cat to recharge dogs. it somehow, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like a little now I'm attaching like a solar panel. Yeah, yeah solar oh. panel on the back of the cat. Hey, yeah. 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 I like this project already. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right back and forth. Or maybe I could just build a robot that follows him around. <laughs> that's, that's my solution. Yeah, it sounds like a wonderful project. But like yeah. I say, there's, there's somebody who's already come up with a solution for yeah. it, but it's proprietary and probably costly and all that stuff. Yeah. What you're trying to do is take a cellular phone, drop it down to a real small size with a real small power usage, and put it into a collar of an animal. And uh, like I say, that's that I mean, the existing technology, I think, is like you have to pay like 200 or $250 for the actual hardware. And like you have to pay like a monthly subscription mm -hmm. of like 10 to $20. Yep. Yep. Which and I, I'd agree that's probably what you'd have to do um, yeah. with the current technology. Yeah. Um, although, if you want to do something like, uh, you know, so the, the tracking that I have in my car right now has a um, Wi-Fi. So every time I drive in the driveway, it, it syncs up with my Wi-Fi and mm -hmm. uploads information, right? So if you had a cat that did come home, then you might be able to have a GPS tracking that then just uploads only when you get within the Wi-Fi range. Yeah, sure. where or, they have been. I was thinking if yeah. you were actually walking your dog or cat, you could have like a, um, like a little Wi-Fi node and like your but that's like a little bit. I can't see a cat consenting to be himself. walked. <laughs> oh, I actually do walk my cat. That's like my big fear, that he'll like run off and I'll be spend hours looking for him. Well, Hence this technological solution. Well, so, you know, I, I had trouble with, you know, letting things go, right? So <laughs> trying to come up with a real technical solution to a problem that isn't technical is... Yeah. is well. The only thing I think of is something that's cell-based. You know, and there's... Um, you, the problem is then you have to have a, a subscription or a service yeah. with it also. Um, although there are some that the all it does is like text pictures or it'll text um, even just a text message. It's really what you can have it do. Just send Yeah. So you but you would have to find somehow to make it small enough. Uh, and I haven't heard of anything small enough you'd want to put on the cat. Where they would I know it's like a ridiculous so, idea. Well, it's something so the, I haven't done. Okay. But. So. Yeah. The other extreme is these real cheap um, beacons, right? Yeah. So a beacon will tell you some information, right? So you get, uh, maybe there's a, a beacon available. I don't know yet. If there's a beacon available, it has like a, 
um, GPS, right? So you get a GPS beacon, right? And now the, the problem is that if the cat isn't going to be within range to send the information to your back-end server, right? Well, so unless you, you can set up a grid across the city that there you go. grabs so, these beacon information, and then that feeds it to the server, so you can see what point of part of the city that your cat is in. <laughs> you just have to go around and post little little beacons on all, all the all the telephone poles yeah. around the area. Yeah. Well, then what you need to do is get a grid going with all your neighbors, right? So now all your neighbors will have their <laughs> animals tracked. Right. I mean, that could be a whole project, right? That's, that's believe it or not, that is somehow an industry that is getting a lot of investment. Oh, yeah. hmm. I can already see it. I, I can yeah. see, yeah, it's all you, tracker animals. A, a lot of the, we're talking about, you're, you're looking for a hardware solution that's small enough. Yeah. And that's where the i3 Detroit, those guys are more into hardware, and, and they, they'd be really good about yeah. talking to them. Yeah. Or go to Tech Shop, and then you tech can, shop. And yeah. at Tech Shop, you, you get to the point where you have access to people who do copyright law and stuff like that, and they'll help you patent it or whatever. Mm -hmm. might, I mean, if this is really going to take off, you feel that like this is going to be an important thing. Get on the ground floor, patent this puppy and or kitten or whatever, <laughs> and and own it. You know. Um, yeah. So it sounds like an interesting yeah, project. Uh, I want to hear more. I want to see what yeah, you're doing. Yeah. You know. Let, let's set up a a, a May uh, second Saturday in May to have you come in and tell us what your plans are, how far you've gotten, um, what obstacles you're finding. Wouldn't, that, wouldn't yeah. that be good? Yeah. Okay. Well, so we'll, we'll yeah. try to try President to at Pres MD Love. Sorry. Got it. Yeah. Um, it's the All right. So are we That's wrapping up here? We're getting some people like, drifting. I don't know. I'm going to shut down the pie now. Okay. It's shutting it's down the pie. Mm -hmm. no, no more pie for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we can turn off this projector. What do I am shutting off the projector? Okay. Um, so um, we do meet at a restaurant. Yeah, so that's uh, right. It's at Board Road and Greenfield yeah. on the yeah. southwest mm -hmm. corner. And it's a little like this uh, one. Uh, uh, Greek restaurant. Uh, you know what? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's too. So don't pick your stuff up here, Tony, okay? Yeah. Uh, you want the rounds on this, right? Yeah. Uh, okay.